screen. So here we go. Do like every other amateur video tape. Is this thing on? Do a vice with your camera to the Okay, so exam three point five examples. This is we're going back to molarity, which you had molarity in Chem one. But the assumption would be that you might not remember it unless I sort of refresh your memory a little bit. So uh, yeah. So molarity is kept represented by a capital M. And it is equal to moles of solvent over liters of solution. So our formula is M equals moles over liters. So example one becomes incredibly easy for us. It says glycine is the simplest amino acid. What is the molarity? Clearly I'm solving for M. Of an aqueous solution that contains, we're given a number of moles, 0.715, I'm sorry, yeah, 0.715 moles of glycine and 495 milliliters. So the only conversion I need to change or to make is from milliliters to liters. The 0 0.715 moles fits right in. And if I'm at 495 milliliters, how many spaces do I need to move my uh, decimal to be in liters? Three. So I just shift my decimal three places to the left. This is a very common conversion that you're going to have to do in these molarity problems. And then I'm simply left with uh, needing to divide. So 0 0.715 divided by 0 0.495. Looks like from our problem we need three significant digits in our answer. So what is it 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1
mean something uh, different? Molality, yes. And depending on the context, lowercase n can also mean meters. So, but in the context of concentration problems, lowercase m means molality. You're right. So one thing is awesome. <laughs> Great that we have that on video. Okay. <laughs> All right. Example two. A buffered solution maintains acidity as the reaction occurs. In living cells, phosphate ions play a key buffering role. So biochemists often study reactions in such solutions. How many grams of solute, so what I'm solving for is grams of solute, are in, and then we're given a volume of 1.75 liters of 0 0.460 molar <coughs> sodium hydrogen phosphate. Okay, so we can figure out, we've got molarity, so that's 0 0.460. We have a volume of 1.75 liters. And what I can solve for, using those two pieces of information, is the number of moles of that substance that I have. a similar solution process as uh, you try at one. I multiply both sides by that 1.75. And is that you get 100, no, that's grams. I'm on example two, sorry. Uh, 0.805 moles. Is that what you're coming up with? Okay. So we end up with 0 0.805 moles. How'd you get there? Um, we're solving, did you understand the setup here? Yeah. Okay, then you just multiply each side by 1.75 liters. And so that cancels, and so the product of 1.75 and 0 0.460 is 0 0.805. Okay, but my question is not how many moles. If it was, I would be done. My question is how many grams, so I have to convert 0.805 moles of sodium hydrogen phosphate, which is Na2HPO4. I have to convert that to grams. So I need the molar mass of sodium hydrogen phosphate which I have pre-calculated to be 142. Two sodiums, a hydrogen, a phosphorus, and four oxygens, 142. So my number of grams of sodium hydrogen phosphate would be the product of the 0 0.805 and the 142, which is 114, I did it right, grams of sodium hydrogen phosphate. You all check me on the numbers and tell me if you get something. That's the three significant digits. Three significant digits, correct. Because both yeah. of the pieces of information in our pro problem have three. Okay? Now you try it. Similar, <coughs> sort of. not sure where to start here, you're going to have to convert this 135 grams of the solid, which is the sucrose, you're going to have to convert that to moles first. So if you're not sure how to get started, that's your starting point.
to do that conversion between 135 grams of sucrose to moles of sucrose, I need the molar mass of sucrose, which is 342 grams. So I take my given mass of 135, divide by the molar mass of 342, and end up with 0.395 yes. moles. And the question I'm answering is how many liters? So now I need my molarity formula to calculate that. I'm given a molarity of 3.30 molar, uh, 0.395 moles, and I'm going to solve for my volume, which will be in liters. So a little algebraic manipulation, multiply both sides by this L that's representing liters. <coughs> so I have L times 3.30 molar equals 0.39.